Hello everyone and welcome back to Design and Craft with Style by Chadi. Uh, I have been wanting to make a Santa Claus or make a Santa Claus and I was not going to do it because uh, May did such a beautiful, beautiful job, you know, I just, you know, felt like she should be the one to do it. But I keep thinking I want to do one, I really do want to do one and mine is going to be a little bit different. So I thought, let's go for it. And it's always, got, it's, a, it's always good to have more than one version anyway. Um, so to begin with, uh, I had the cone, of course, and I put the napkin and I glue it. Uh, I need a little more glue in here, so let me go ahead and finish this off uh, because somehow all that I got it undone. And uh, make sure it's really nice and tight at that point. Okay, there we go. All righty. So the next thing I did, because I want hands on her, that's me, I, you know how that is. Um, I like hands. <laughs> and uh, so I decided that I put the, uh, this is the, by the way, this is the little red Santa Claus, the very, very first one actually that we bought that I, you know, to, so we decided, May and I, who we, you know, that, uh, what we're gonna use for the Santa Claus. Anyway, it was May's idea to go ahead and take the beer off and everything, and, and she does, it does, makes a beautiful Santa, Mrs. Santa. So what I did, I had really taken everything out and I mesh, put it right in here. And as you can tell, that's basically what I want her because the, the, the uh, wires that I did, let me show you. You know, to get an idea of where to start the hole for the uh, for the wire. So I put it down and I stuff it in there pretty darn good. And I wanted the wires actually to touch right in here at the shoulders of the uh, Santa, of the head, okay? Right here. So what I'm going to do that, that way I can, when I glue the head, then I can glue this in here. And this is going to stabilize it, okay? And uh, if the arms are not long enough, I'm not going to have a problem with it. Also, it's going to have mittens, so, you know, that's not going to be a big deal. And then what I did is, with my scissors, actually, with a sharp point of my scissors, because it's such a short distance between here and here, I just went on a straight on it, like this, made a hole, brought my, uh, my wire through it, brought it through the back, twisted it, and then brought it to the front. That's as simple as that, okay? And then with my pliers, my little nose pliers here, I did it, let me do it again, and I'll show you. These were straight, of course. I just grabbed my pliers, and I just went like this. Excuse me, let me hold it. And then just keep on, turn it until I got it. A little circle. And the reason I wanted this, that little circle, see? Is so when I put the mittens, the uh, the wire will you know punch through. So that's just what I did to it. You can fold it back; it'd be fine. Just whatever it works for you, it's okay. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now, is, of course, is fill this baby up with glue because I want her in there really, really good. And that's one thing we need to do is put plenty, plenty, plenty of glue. Okay. This miss, this uh, probably will come out probably after maybe the Christmas hop. I don't know, just whenever it's ready. But um, I think you're gonna like her. And like I said, it's a different version, and they give you two ways to do a San Miss Santa. Okay, now I'm gonna bring her straight, you know, down so I can see better, and then I can go ahead and glue the uh, this wire into the. As they say, the shoulders here. I'm gonna do one and make sure it's in there. Okay, and I may put a little bit more of the um, glue over it when it sets in a second, and uh, you know we'll take it from there. But like I said, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do another one. And I had this is the way I wanted to do her all along. Uh, and I thought, like, no, I'll go ahead and do it. I really want to. And, uh, okay, make sure that your cone is straight. Because, like I said, this, oops. 
and uh, I think it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And plenty, plenty of it. Okay. And here we go. Okay, just, and of course you're going to have to wait a little bit until it gets in there. Which really is not going to be that long, but uh, you can kind of blow on it or do whatever you have to do to cool it off faster. And uh, I hope you had had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I did. I actually went out of town and went to my my youngest daughter, Katerina. We all were there, all the family. We, I have a small family, of course, but uh, it was a lot of fun. The grandkids were all there, except for one, unfortunately. He had to work. Uh, but I'll see him at Christmas. And then, of course, uh, all my little, two little grandbabies. And so I was just in high heaven, let me tell you. It was wonderful. And you do what you do best, you eat. <laughs> but that's okay. It was that, you, luckily, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, those two holidays are very close together. And you do it only once a year. <laughs> so I was really glad. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of glue down here to hold the head around it. It will not hurt, believe me. And that way I know that thing is not going anywhere. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can nip it over, maybe. And I think if I don't touch it, all it dries, I think it's going to be just fine. Okay? I know it doesn't look like much, when I get it nice and dry, well, I'll do something else. Then I'll move the, to make a little shoulder or something and be, it's gonna be okay. Uh, like I say, I just wanted a, a different version and I always wanted one with hands. Maybe I got a thing about hands, I have, don't know. <laughs> and uh, there we go. And really, you don't even have to the shoulder. She's got small shoulders, which is okay. But we can still make it look like she's got bigger shoulders. Okay, I'm going to leave this here for a sec. Let it kind of dry or get set. And meanwhile, I'm going to show you. This is the fabric that I chose actually for the missus. And then looking at video for uh, uh, May, decided that, you know, the pinks and the stuff when I have work on this fabric. Although I just love, I really, really do love it. So I decided, well, I'll just do her instead. <laughs> And we'll be doing uh, more muted, you know, so everything shows up better for the Mrs. Santa Claus, which it really makes sense. And I hadn't been able to see her uh, video. This is why I almost kind of had to go, you know, uh, blind a little bit. Uh, but I, I watched it last night, and man, it's, that thing is gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let me show you what I did. I'm going to do it on this end. Uh, I use the whole piece of fabric, okay? Uh, although uh, this length of fabric, you would have had enough to make her, her sleeves out of because you could cut, cut off from it. And, uh, and actually, this is way too long for her anyway. Um, I had to still cut some. But uh, you would have had either on one end or the other, you know, been able to cut for the sleeve and still have a lot of width to it. It is about 16 inches long. Yeah, 16 inches, maybe even a little bit over. Uh, so, and then um, I fold it. In other words, I just went on here and just fold the fabric, okay? And then I went back and fold it. Again, make sure all the edges are off the edge, you know, so everything is even. Okay, like so, okay, and then right at the center of it, at the, uh, of the fold, of this fold in here, on this end, I measure from the neck down three inches, and then I slid it. Of course, I did it all like in here, you know, right on the fold of here. See, so you fold it, okay, and fold it again, right? Well, so on this double fold in here is where you would measure three inches and with your scissors just went right on to three inches. 
no more than that on both of the folds. And, you know, they're together, three inches, that's it. And this is what I did, see, right here. I was trying to get a little bit, you know, uh, ahead of myself again because, uh, you know, this stuff can take forever. And, uh, and you know, do a, a, a quick um, tutorial. Then what I did is, this is going to be the front of her because, of course, the fabric, this is what is going to be right at the front of the... Uh, of her dress and so what I did at the front I came here to this slit and I folded from zero to about half an inch at, uh, at the end in here and I did the whip stitch and when I got almost to the other end I folded another half an inch and finished it off and the reason I did that also I like the whips the whips well, I can even say it the whip stitch for the main reason that you don't have as much fabric everything is together you don't have extra fabric coming out so for that reason when I put it on her see and it's gonna work from shoulder to shoulder you have a little space a little to work with and you know add on to it and so whatever and here is of course the arms going by this slit and then of course this is gonna go in here and that in here and eventually of course what this slit is is where the sleeve is going to be glued into it that's the difference between mine and, and May but like I said this is what I planned all along so uh, that's what I wanted to do and you're still gonna have plenty of uh, you know gathering I'm not gonna put the tool net on the on on her for the main reason I think when I get it all done and and everything is in here See, I'm going to have to cut it a little bit because it's way too long. But when I do it all together like that, this dress is going to stick out, but it's going to have three more la two more layers over it. So I feel like it, for me, just for me, okay, it's more than enough. Uh, and uh, now, if you wanted the fullness, then of course you do need some tool knit under it, okay? Uh, and again, this is up to you. It's, everybody's individual, everybody's different, and that's... Uh, um, that's it. So that way, by putting the arms right away, we have them in there. They slid up. So when we get the sleeves in later, it's ready to go. Now, I'll probably put some batting and stuff on the arm to make it a little fatter, but I'll do that later. Right now, we're just going to concentrate on this, okay? And that's what I did so far. Now, the other one, <laughs> I left it open without doing anything to show you what I was going to do, okay? And if I can find my... Where? Let's see. Okay, there is. Okay, this one I already tucked it a while ago. Let me tuck it again just in case. And uh, we'll do that. Okay. Oops. Alrighty. There we go. Oops. I'm using, I tell you, I discovered this thread and it's very, very strong. I got it at Joanne's. And it's a, uh, it's about a Gutterman okay it's for uh, upholstery so it's super strong and the reason it's super strong it, okay see Oop. now finally it, it but it takes a while it pulls it you can tell it doesn't want to you know break real easy and i found it because i know we all have been including myself have had trouble with the um, quilting thread i don't know they used to make stronger thread than that but they don't do that anymore uh, anyway, maybe because they're sewing it more in the machine, they don't do it as much on the uh, hand quilting like they used to. Uh, some of them are still do, but you know, not everybody does. But anyway, I got this at Joanne's, okay, and it's uh, I just got the neutral color because it goes with everything, and um, and it was not it was a little pricey for thread, I think, because I haven't really bought thread in so long. I don't know what you know. I got threads every color of the rainbow. And for sergers and for machine and whatever, because one thing I did do after I quit my business uh, on fashion, I kept all my threads and stuff, and and here we are. So I need them again. But try that. Try it. It's um, upholstery um, thread, and it have uh, different ranges of of colors and so on. Okay, that my pitch for Joanne. <laughs> okay, what I did at this end too. See, I turn it. This is the back, I turn it, okay, like this. But 
this one I'm not because what I'm going to do then later is glue that piece on top of this, okay? But if you did, you would turn it right here a little bit, about half an inch or so, and then you would tack it and then go on, okay? I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do it, you know, uh, on the this raw edge as is. Well, we got the, a little, uh, what do you call it, cheering committee here coming up. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the whip stitch, and as you can tell, if I did it this way, and it's nothing wrong, folks, again, you know, I always try to do things, how I came out, I came out with a lot of different sewing ways to do things, and as a matter of fact, as I share it with others, others have shared it with people that had sewing um, uh, shows in on TV before, which is fine, that's the way it should be. But I mean, I like to try different ways to uh, shortcut and ways to do things that it don't take very much time on and it's easier to do. Okay, see if I did this, okay, see how much fabric, and that's not very much, but it's still enough, you know, that that's going to be extra on the neck, okay, by doing it. The whip stitch, was pro you come from the back to the front and around and back on the front, like this. What that does also, and I don't think I, I mentioned that before, it says more, it, well, you don't search it, of course, but the whip stitch used to be made on the seams before searches came about for people to sew. So it almost finishes up the, the end. And then you don't have, see how very little you, you're taking? You're taking very little, just what's on the you know, on the, uh, on the needle. Anyway, so this is the whip stitch. And we've all been doing it, and uh, they all do great. And like I said, I always like to show it again in case there's somebody up there that has not, you know, seen it before, but it's from the back to the front, from the back to the front, and it goes real fast. Now, when I get here, where the slip is, I'm gonna turn in about a half an inch, okay? That way, I don't have, and then whip it up, and I want to go ahead and bring it here. I measured all this, by the way, so I know everything is going to fit, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, uh, whip, um, tack it. And that way, when we put the sleeve on and then uh, glue it on inside of that little slit, uh, everything's going to look nice and neat, okay? All righty. There we go, and I better don't lose it. All right. Okay, let's see now how it goes. I'll look at here just a second. Just put it on front of me. I hope you're seeing okay. I'm trying to. Okay, so this little bit of here and this little bit on this end, and I measured it before from end to end, it just goes right at the center. Of the middle of the shoulders okay and that's what I'm going to put it on right there and then this one here oops here we go it's the same it goes from here to here and down and then this one of course which is the one I'm going to go over and uh, you know so I, I mean uh, glue the same way so when you get done this is what you got okay but you still have a little bit of a neck because we're gonna put a lot of stuff in there and uh, so that's why I like to do it this way okay and like I said there's no right or wrong uh, it's just different uh, okay there we go there we go see and, and I just uh, I like that and then when we put the sleeve later on it's gonna fit this little slit see and I'm just going to go ahead and glue it and everything be nice and dandy. So we will work on that. But see how long this is? Even if you had a, the tool net, you know, that would be a little bit long for me. So I'm going to cut about, mm, I want to say about three inches from here. Because it's going to have all the things over it, so I might as well do it. Okay? Alrighty. And this is the beauty of this, is that See three, I must say two and a half. Also, what I did this is the salvage in this end, and on the other side, it was white. I took it off. 
What I like about this, when you do that, just rip the heck out of it. You don't have to cut it. And it comes out even on both ends. And don't throw this away because you might need it for something. See, it's a nice little piece. So, okay. This to me, for me, is a little better. There we go. Because also when you have all of that in there, it's going to look really nice. See? And like I said, we're putting the, the coat is pretty good. Uh, the, I mean, the next piece over it is heavy. So again, they'll give more bulkiness to it and so on. And so what I'm going to do first thing is go ahead and uh, try to glue as much as I can on the back seam. And then I'll finish, you know, finish it off. So, okay, this is the back. And I'm just going to finger press it. See, you can just finger press it. There's one thing I like about cotton. You can think, and some other fabrics will work too, but some are very hard to finger press, but this is good. Then I'll know where I'm going to do it. Okay? Alrighty. And being careful, I think we'd be fine and I don't think I, I'll need anything under it. I'll try to be really, you know, very careful. But I'm going to start down here, like so, a little bit at a time, until I get about, about here, like three or four inches from the neck, you know, so that I can go ahead and slip it over and we can finish it all while it's on, on the body. And actually, since everything is open, I think we can go ahead and go all the way up. Oops. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this. Okay, there we go. There we go. And it just looks a little neater for me because I'm not going to put any extra stuff on the back and gives me a little bulkiness in the back that also I need. And I, who knows, I may decide to put some stuff under it while I get done. If it doesn't turn out like I wanted it, then we'll see what we can do about it. And that's the thing about us crafters. Whenever, sometimes we'll just kind of go with the flow and see what happens. I'm really excited for the Christmas hop. I got a great uh, project. Uh, unfortunately, I will not go live for the main reason that uh, I don't have one of those cameras that you're supposed to do for go live. I'm going to try to get me one. And um, so uh, when I do, uh, then I'll try. But right now, I'm just not going to do it. And so anyway, okay, here we go. But it, it will be a, a long tutorial, folks, because I may do it in, uh, in more than one. Uh, but of course, it'll all be out at the same day, okay? That way you can watch it one right after the other. Yes, I usually do. Uh, so you'll get the same effect. Unfortunately, we can't talk, but next time maybe. Who knows? Maybe uh, Santa will bring me one. <laughs> okay, see? Now we got it. The back is nice and neat. It's finished. And because I didn't do anything to the top yet, I can go over it one little sleeve at a time and voila and here we go okay you know what I'm gonna do too before I do anything else is actually put something right around the the bottom of the dress that way I don't have to do it and it'd be easier to do so I'm gonna do that too thinking ahead thinking ahead <laughs> okay let's see what I'm gonna put in here there's um okay let's see here i got this real pretty trim unfortunately i don't have a lot in the store so i'm gonna go ahead and use it and uh i'm gonna be doing some videos uh on some of the things that see i didn't even know we had this beautiful uh, trim. If I can ever find something like this, I won't get it for us, but uh, I'll have to check with May about it uh, when she might, well, no, when she got this, but uh, I'll get something similar. 
but there's a lot of stuff on there that we don't have a lot of so I would be taking it off the uh, store and of course replace it with something else and if I'm lucky enough maybe replace it with the same thing but the videos I'm going to do so you know exactly what's in the shop and show it to you firsthand okay I'll be doing that uh, if not right now after the first of the year after I get back from my trip okay see I'm gonna do this in the back I'm gonna start in the back where are you here we are all right let's see I think it's gorgeous and I think they will give it see and it's it's like likely it's the same color in a gorgeous I just love it I saw it I was looking for some stuff to do this and I go oh, that is so pretty so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little bit in here it's a it's some kind of a gimp and see, it's a stiff to begin with already. So that's going to give you volume at the bottom of the skirt. Which is what we want. And you all don't have to, you know, cut anything on the back. I mean, you know, do anything. Because the glue is going to make it, you know, uh, stay fine. So you all don't have to do that. This is absolutely gorgeous. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. I found another one, but I think it was too dark, so I'm not going to use it. Okay. Yeah, that really, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It just makes it, it makes it the little dress. But I saw the, uh, the video that uh, May did last night. Oh, my God. That, it was absolutely... The cast me out. She's such a wonderful and uh, talented young lady. You know, it's it's a blessing for us to have her. Okay. Basically, what I'm doing this edge of the flower um, is to the edge of the bottom of the dress. Okay give or take okay so the little scallop in there is really what it shows and it kind of holds it nice together and I just love 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 it and I want to have enough to go around the I think on the coat too which is going to be great We have a winter day today, and it's absolutely wonderful. Um, it's, oh, it's, I love cold days, and finally, finally, we got a cold day. At least what I think cold day. And it's kind of, it's kind of yucky out there. So definitely a winter day or a fall day, I guess you could say. Uh, but it's about time. Oh yeah. See, it's so much easier to do it like this than it would be on, on the doll itself. So uh, I'll be doing a lot of that because um, it just, it actually goes a little bit faster too. And <laughs> they get everywhere, don't they? Okay. Yeah, a little bit more. Let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and just enough to fold just a little bit. Let me just go ahead and finish this a little bit like this. Alrighty. And let's finish this off. And 
I'm just gonna overlap this little bit because it's not gonna show, but it finishes it off a little better. Okay, all right. Okay, oh yeah. That is so cute. Let's already give him some kind of a, see, put it trim at the bottom of the dress and that heaviness too is gonna help a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on her now. And let's see what we do. I'm gonna do the front first. First I'm gonna do the, uh, right, you know, tack it right on each of the sides of the, um, of the shoulder, the middle there of the shoulder, and uh, make sure I get it just right there where I need it. Okay, it's right there. That's where I want it. I think she's smiling at me. <laughs> Maybe not, but I think she is. <laughs> oh, me. What is about those makes us such a, it's happy, it's happy. To me, it's a happy thing. And uh, there we go. And the thing, I make them and I don't keep them. As I say, you know, I usually end up giving it away to somebody. I already got a home for the uh, ginger girl and uh, probably put her in the mail tomorrow, Monday. Today is Sunday. Alrighty, let's see here. Yeah, see. Like I said, we're going to be putting all the things over it, but I think that's really cute, like that. Okay, there we go. And I want to do the back, of course. And we're going to put it right there and on the center one side uh this way too it's a little bit easier to handle too if you do it this way and see i like the way the back goes it needs to you know to kind of go a little bit flowing in the back i think it's kind of pretty and then this one here the same it's going right in here Just going to attach it right in there. See, and I want to stand up again as usual so I can see better what I'm doing. Ouch! And make sure you, uh, you know, you secure it well on the uh, on the neck around the neckline. Okay, but you don't have to. Uh, like I said, see, that's not very good. Scissors. This is my best scissors right here. I'm just gonna take off the little few little what you might jiggets so that I can uh, oh yeah. So see you can have and you know it's what makes it too. You don't have to put it uh, you know the uh, the tool net and that's one thing too I wanted to show you that you don't have to and still have a great effect on the doll, okay? So for those that you don't want to, there it goes. And for those you want to, you know, it goes the other direction. Okay, let's see. I think I got it pretty good in there. Maybe just a little, just a little bit in here. Hold, hold it. Okay, there we go. Ouch. Now I got it. There we go. And see, that's plenty of uh, gathering. I have a steamer that I will eventually get that wrinkle or the crease out of the uh, out of the fabric, and it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, but well, we got one of them, one thing out of the way, and I'm gonna put her aside for right now. The next thing we're gonna do, of course, is the coat. And this is the fabric that I have for the coat. It's gorgeous. But I don't want this side because I want it more um, old looking. So I decided I'm going to do the back. The back is more, you know, it's, it's a cotton, you know, fabric. And it looks more, more weather maybe. I don't know. 
but I like that. So again, what I'm going to do is the same thing I did in there, but this is the coat. So I'm gonna fold it. Okay. All righty. And also what I'm gonna do on mine, just slightly, just slightly, give it a little roundness at the very, very bottom, okay? Just barely, really, see? It's not that much. But I just like that too. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to fold it, okay? And I'm going to fold it, make sure it's nice and even, again. Okay? Now, again, I'm going to put this over here, make sure it's all together. I want to measure three inches from here to here, it's three inches. I'm bringing it right at the fold of both of them, and I'm just going to come down. Actually, this one, I'm going to come down slightly a little more. So I'm going to say about three and a half because, you know, you're going to have extra, so that, let's just do it that way. Let's see. Make sure that this is... Uh, just gather some more it's nothing like uh, watching somebody gather right <laughs> but it doesn't take that long really that's what I like about this it don't take long to do it and if I get lucky I'll thread it the, the first time <laughs> I'm so blind <laughs> I'm so blind I tell you, I've been singing. Today I was talking to Vanessa this morning and we were just, I was just, she was talking to me and I was just singing Christmas carols. <laughs> I'm really in the mood for it. Okay. So again, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. Now on this one, I'm not going to do anything to it because I'm gonna put embellishments right over it. So I'm, in other words, I'm not gonna fold it, okay? because I'm gonna do it both ways, so you know, it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it in. And one and two, there we go. And that is whip, whip, whip. And the nice thing about it, it doesn't matter the length of it, just whatever makes you happy, you know. So it's okay, okay. The long needle is, is a good deal. This one is pretty long, but not as long as the other one. It's just that I'm used to it, so, you know. Uh, so whatever you like is fine. Now, the only thing I'm going to, I see when I come to this, where the sleeve is gonna be, I'm gonna turn it half an inch. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring it in. And I think, let me measure it, but I think we're gonna be okay if I do it. Whoa, girl, take my thread away here. Let's don't be, let's be a good girl. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, let's see that way. Because this is gonna be right, just slightly a little higher than the other one. See, I put this a little lower. And this is slightly, slightly a little higher than the other one. And I'm gonna make a smack on the middle so it go down, okay? So I wanna be sure that that's gonna have enough. And I think it will, I mean, I can go ahead and, yeah, okay. In other words, you can, you know, tighten it up pretty good and it's gonna be fine. And if not, you can always kind of, you know, pinch it a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and that's what's gonna come down this again see it's like from zero because it will turn so make it a nice little you know um, seam when it's on there so and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tack it and I couldn't find my thimble I cannot I cannot sew without a thimble folks okay here we go and here we go so we're doing actually a little bit different than before now we got the the solier piece on the back and then the opening in the front which is okay This is easier on the fingers and the hands, I think, too, this particular stitch. Uh, at least I think it is. Uh, I'll have to ask uh, May if, she, you know, if that's, if it makes any difference in her hands, because I know she's got really bad arthritis. Okay, and then before I, uh, I come to this point, I'm going to turn it again another half an inch or so. And then make sure that I catch this end in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's nice and, you know, all the way back. There we go. Because it's, it's gonna be needing that much. And I'm gonna tack it because I already know it's gonna fit. But if you don't, then you leave the, um, the needle on until you get ready for it, okay? Until you try it on. And then the last one. I say it don't take long at all. Okay, and again in here, see, we go into. Oh, what did I do? I did it wrong because I should be going this way. Well, drafts. See, I want, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. It, it, it'll, it'll work. It will work. It will work. Make sure you go. The, the right side face the wrong side facing you or in other words the side that you want to be out you know out be facing you when you do it and it would be easier that way I just didn't think there's not one of my fortis <laughs> okay Now I am gonna bring it over here, okay. I'll make it work anyway, because knowing me, I will make it work, believe me. Okay, there we go. Well, there's a well, there's a way in it. Okay, all righty. Make sure I get it plenty of it. Uh, you know, I'm still got plenty of glue, but I wanna make sure that I have an extra one. Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to do, again, like I say, I'm going to embellish this. And let's see, which one was it? I brought, it was on one piece. I got this stuff, which I really, really love. It's that uh, tool ruffle, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So this is what I'm going to use for this particular uh, coat. Make sure I got the, the wrong side that I want to be the right side out. start on the other side okay I'm gonna start right in here yeah this is what I want it doesn't really matter too much you know which side you do they're both the same length so it doesn't matter You just want the edge, you know. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty.
and also make sure that you uh, put a little bit the um, the fabric when you do it so they won't cup see I almost didn't do that and it would have then I would have been in trouble I like about this it just you know turns around pretty look at that then I'm gonna do it in the back too so you're gonna have double the one thing too you can do then after you have it done is cut it and I may do that eventually and if I do it'll be all nice and you know all fluffy and also be real pretty it takes a little time but you can do it I know we're gonna have at least two videos on this, okay? And like I said, I'm trying to work as fast as I can so that won't be uh, and by the way, this is from Creating with Details store right now. This one, we've got plenty of it. We'll always have that. And um, actually, all, all my embellishments is going to be from Creating with Details. With the obsession of the one I put in the dress, it is from Creative with Details, but we don't have enough, so it will be out, you know, out of the store. Uh, unless I can get some more. If I can, I will get it because it's beautiful. It has got a little bit of... Um, a little pearls in there too with the little tiny flowers which is what I like so I like that a lot yeah that's gonna be real pretty this is so much easier than try to put it on her and then try to do it you know it's just not gonna work for me I like it easy That goes pretty fast. Oops. Let's see, where are you? Okay. 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 And then we'll put another trim over it, by the way. So, you know, we're not there yet. I like the the, the, uh, the wrong side of this so much better because, uh, like I said, it has that old look. You know, the other one, it looks more new. And I, you know, I don't think they had that kind of a look at that time, maybe, but I don't know. Um, and Mrs. Santa Claus has been around a long time. She's a, a pretty little old lady. that gets all tangled up but I think we're gonna work it
else I'm going to bring in here and I'm just going to also round it off a little bit on the neck. See what I did? Just went and kind of rounded it up a little bit. Let's see. Let me get this one though because I don't want this one to be. Okay, there we go. See, it just rounded it up to come this way. Okay. So let's see how we're going to do her now. What it's going to look like. I'm not going to put it on her yet because I'm going to put the other trim on her, um, you know, whenever. But yeah. Oh, yeah. See, that's going to be really pretty. And then this one, which I'll also round up the, uh, you know, the front of it. Let's see what I can do. Okay, see? Can you see her then? And of course, it's going to be right in here. So that's going to be really you know, really pretty. Once we get it all, you know, the gators all together and everything, you know, that's gonna look really pretty. And I'm gonna make sure that the coat is slightly open. In other words, whoops, let me get a little more uh, thing in here. So in other words, I may put it right there like so. And in this one, which I need to also do this uh, roundness into it. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put this about like this. So when it's open, in other words, bring it out this way a little bit. And then this one, bring it out this way a little bit. So when she's all together, say she'll have it Whoops. There we go. Okay. It's kind of hard to see right now, but I'll get it, you know, uh, when we get together, I'll get it up a little more higher so you can see it. So I'm going to put this trim in here, which I just love, right on the top of this one. And then I'll, you know, then we'll do another video and hopefully we'll finish the rest of it, okay? Because uh, I want to do it. And uh, I also have this one, which is very pretty, but actually I like it too. It's got the green on it, and I'm not in, into green, but I like this green. And I could do this one also, see? That one would look very pretty also. It almost look like little buttons or something in it. And it still will go with this, you know, because it's going to be under anyway. So let's see how, what I can do with it. This one here, or, let's see. I think I like this one better, I really do. But we could try it and see what this one's going to like. See, that's very pretty too. But I really do like this one. So, um, hmm, decision, decisions in it. I want if I go this this way and then this one. No, it will not. A little bit too much. See, that's I don't like that. But this is so elegant. It's just the way it is. I think I like that much better. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this one. Why not? Let's go for it. Let's don't even think it anymore. Yeah, I really do like this one. And I will bring that green on something else. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yes. See, what I'll do is I'll put some more of this on the other side. But you don't have to look at it for me doing it the same thing. This is why I decided to go ahead and do this first. And uh, this is going to be beautiful. I like it. Yeah, this is pretty. Now, this one I got plenty, I think. If anybody wants some of this, I do have some. 
uh, I don't know what I'll have, but I, I will let you know my next video how much I have of this left. It's quite a bit. This has got quite a bit in it. So unless you've got, you know, five, ten yards, then, then it may be a problem. But, I mean, for a lot of you, but if a couple of years here and a couple of years there, so I may have a few orders for that. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's, it's just more delicate or more, I don't know, for her, I think I like that better. And uh, so I really think that's... I, I, originally, I thought about this one because I thought we'll bring it like on the, you know, on the, uh, like on the dress. But I, I don't know, I just, I really do like this one. There she goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. I don't even know where I got this one a long time ago. Like I could say I buy fabric that I like. And when I wear well, see them, and then I, you know, I say, well, I'll, I'll use those. I'll use those. <laughs> then I don't. Now I have been using them lately for a lot of your projects. And I'm so happy to share because, um, you know, they're fa some, some of the, um, some of the fabrics, you know, sometimes you find them and sometimes you don't. And uh, unfortunately, they were a little pricey, but that's what it makes them unique. Oh boy, this is gorgeous. That's gonna be very pretty. See, yeah, I just kind of, I just like the way it rounds it. That way you don't have to tuck or nothing. just flows into it. I really am pleased with this. This is, this really, really, really Oh, finishes it off. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I would have, it's funny what you think you're gonna do one thing and then you try it on it and it didn't say a thing to me, the other one. Even though it's beautiful and on the dress it's absolutely gorgeous. But on this, nope, not, not, not. Okay, let's see right there. There we go. Whoops. Uh -oh. okay. And here we go. Oh, yay. Oh, how pretty. Okay, folks, here's the little coat. Like I said, we don't have it on her yet because I want to be able to, uh, you know, finish it um, and I might even put the sleeves on this before I actually put it on her which it would be great that way you know the dress is one thing I really needed to do that but on the coat it may be easier to put the sleeves on here first and then just uh, you know uh, then go ahead and put it on her so I'll probably do that and I will show you how to do that 
okay uh, of my next video but right now I think I'm gonna stop I don't want to make them super super long and uh, in just an hour and I think that's more than enough for this first video and so when you get back it's gonna be whoops I will have one sleeve on and one ready to go to show you how to make it okay and then also I will have the double gathering here and I might cut it all the way around so which would be pretty too because it'll be all fluff it up but if I didn't do it it's okay I'll just have to see how I like it once I do it um, on that but I think it's turning out really really cute the coat is beautiful and that way like I said I'll put it in a way that will that on her will be opened like so you know so you can go ahead and uh, see through it the um, the dress okay and on the back is also beautiful so and uh, I'll see you in the next video